Hello and welcome to Project Formula, the Fan Formula Rebirth. Looking forward to where this is going to lead to and looking forward to the future of this project, you know. Um, I know Irish going to do a great job on it, so uh, looking forward to seeing how you push this project on and make it great. So, uh, yeah, um, sorry about my hair as well this morning. I went to the hairdresser to get caught and it was closed, so what are you going to do? So anyway, let's go on with the questions for Cautious China. Question 1. Qualifying 3, so a driver stay in the pits until 5 minutes to go, with only 7 out of the top 10 setting lap times. What is your opinion on the decision to stay in and save the tyres with the team, and do you think Pirelli are right to re-evaluate their tyre compounds? Well, if you're going to run this setup where you've got to keep the tyres for the race, then you people are not going to use up their tyres, and they're only going to do one run, and the best time to do that is going to be at the end of the se uh, session. So, And with the tyres... Especially the softs lasting barely six laps, if you can get that out of them, it's going to be the case where people are not going to set times on their tyres. This definitely makes for an interesting race, but you want to see them get a bit more wear. I mean, I know Vettel did really well at the end of the race with the soft tyres, making them last about six laps and getting some phenomenal speed out of them for the whole of them laps, but you'd really hope to get. Maybe if the speed difference is a bit less and the consistency is a bit higher, maybe, you know, like, you get an extra second a lap for eight laps and then they fall off the cliff, maybe. That will be a bit more interesting for, um, I know they've changed the tyre compounds this weekend from going from the, I think from the softs to the mediums for the lighter tyre, for the option tyre. So, um, maybe they're going to try and do that, but the fact is, if the tyres are where they are, then they're not going to set the laps on them and on the qualifying and that's the problem that you're going to have so um we'll have to see what happens in the next race but i'm guessing it it'll probably be a similar situation um but i'm not too good with the tires i'm not too happy with them being this different i liked it maybe last year was a lot better when it was a bit more close a bit more um consistent as well um but it's definitely something to keep an eye on the tires because they are making for an interesting races but he pretty much tending to have the whole race, or 90% of the race, run on the same tyre, so it doesn't make it that much interesting. You get about four laps of interest out of it. So, I mean, great at the end of the race was really good, with Vettel storming through and almost catching Hamilton, but it wasn't really a spectacular race. Um, I'm about the tyres as well. The DRS as well was seemed to be really overpowered this race. I mean, maybe they should have made the DRS zones shorter, maybe, or something, I don't know, but um, it seems a bit... Like the cars are just getting past too easy on the straights, and you really want them side by side. And literally, in China, the move was being done, and there's about a quarter of a second gap by the time they got to the um, braking zone. In uh, I know on the back straight, it was quite, and even on the um, start finish line, I was getting the moves done pretty early. And we saw some great overtakes there as well. Actually, I know Lewis and Jensen had a great battle on that first corner, the use of DRS. So, um Depends, it worked better with some cars, but you like to see them a, a bit more evenly matched. And with the tyres as well, you like to see them a bit more evenly matched as well. Uh, question two. Whose race pace most surprised you? Um, Button did pretty well on the tyres with his strategy. We in, uh, only two stop strategy, wasn't it? And he managed to get a quite high position and he, a decent pace in there. So it's really reassuring for him to look and come back. Also, Daniel Ricciardo did an excellent job and... I'm really starting to come a bit of fun of the Toro Russell drivers because they seem to be putting in some excellent times and even in qualifying where it's generally been a really sore point for them. The Ricardo come out and did an excellent lap to get in the um what was it in the top seven, so a great uh, display from them and he had a really good race as well and kept his position, I think it was seventy to finish, so um well on to him there as well. And uh of course I think Alonso really ran the race. He was always once he got the head, he was always going to win. The throw looks a lot, lot better than most of the other cars um, over the whole weekend. Qualifying, race pace, and I think they're going to be the cars to catch this season. I mean, even when Red Bull are mixing up the strategies in qualifying, you know that they're struggling to match them with the pace. I mean, that's something that we've never thought we'd see at the last few seasons where Vettel was mixing up his strategy to cope with other cars, it's usually the other way around where Vettel would storm it. So, um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens next weekend because I think for all you've got a very good car. And even though the Mercedes are looking pretty well as well, even though Rosberg disappointed me this weekend because he definitely had the car to go a lot better than he did and he kind of threw it away in the last 
corner of qualifying, he could have he should have got top top row front row of the grid and um in the race he didn't really do anything to do really and it's a bit disappointing. Hamilton did well to finish where he did, um but that's pretty much where you expect them to be, I think. Um Mass had a really quiet weekend as well this week and after really doing well in free practice so I'm expecting him to have a really good season. He's scoring points and he's doing doing a good job so far. Um, yeah, so that's one. Question three: Describe the Chinese Grand Prix in three words. Three words. You you you're despising Irish. Um, for me, I'm gonna go for pit stop strategy. And the bonus question: TMOs, television television match officials. I've seen sports like rugby and cricket. Do you think Formula One should have something similar to? This so we see, so we the fans can hear and see and hear the stewards and officials discuss race incidents. Um, I don't think it really matters, and I don't think you know we'd like to know the reasoning behind them. But generally, with most incidents, it's kind of open and short. You kind of know what's going to happen. I mean, sometimes you do get the stupid one where you think, "Where the hell did that decision come from?" But would would it be interesting to see what their reasoning is? Would you really want to hear in the race three old men talking? Oh well, I think it was behind the yellow flag. No, I don't think it passed the yellow flag. I think it was a green flag. You know, the, when you'd rather watch the race, I don't think it will make a difference. I don't think I, I can be bothered to be honest. Really, um, the stewards confuse me the most of the time. So to actually hear what they're saying, I'll just be over my head. I think, and that was it. Yeah, but yeah, um, that's one of the fastest from Formula. Oh, sorry, not fun formula. <laughs> um, the the fast first videos I think I've ever done, and um, I don't think there's that much to say really. I think it was a pretty good race, but not sprung with incidents really. And but um, yeah, I'm looking. Saying that I'm not looking forward to Bahrain. I don't really care about it. it it's a track that is not really interesting. It's in a place that doesn't really want the race. I don't really care, and if I don't even m m that bothered about watching it really because by the way it does nothing to me. Um, so, uh, but I think you'll probably see the Ferraris doing well. I think um, the Red Bulls will do pretty well here as well. So, um, it'll be an interesting race to watch anyway. And the um, the times are getting a bit more regular, of course, coming back to the Middle East. It's a bit more easier. It's not getting up as early. But I like the early races. I like getting up in the early morning, have a cup of tea and watching the race. And that's over. So, um, and look, so yeah, we'll see you next week. And um, at eight minutes, one of the fastest videos ever. So, see you soon.